fairies are something. That's for sure. <laughs> okay, sorry. Furries, right? Furries are, um, something, I guess is the word I would use. I'm not going to say I hate or despise them because I don't. I know there are groups of people who despise furries and want to set them on fire. I do understand there are uh, people out there who actually sexualize the animals they claim to be, and that's just really nasty and they need to stop, but I've never personally seen or met someone like this, so maybe I'm a little biased since I used to be one and still have furry friends. Ooh woo, yeah. give me your tail, senpai coon. Nuzzles, <laughs> ooh woo. Gross. Stop. Anyway, I don't think furries are like that bad. As far as things go on the internet, they're one of the more harmless groups. Like, I like to watch cringe comps just because I find them interesting. And it's really easy to make me cringe. But the furries almost never make me cringe. Sometimes when they're making animal noises and trying to glomp people in public, or like when they're outside of a con or their house trying to talk to people in a fursuit and clearly making everyone uncomfortable. It's a little cringy definitely, but do I think they're hurting anyone? No, not really. The ones that are overly friendly to to random strangers and or the ones that take on actual animal magnetisms are the ones that are really fucking weird. I was never even close to the fursuit type furry, thankfully. No offense to you guys, but it's just a bit weird. But you're not hurting anyone if you dress up like a neon dog, so you do you. I was the type of furry, actually, honestly, I wouldn't even really count myself as a furry, but everyone in my life calls me one, so here we are. But I was the type of furry that just drew animals. I liked the way they looked, and I'd grown up watching a lot of Sonic the Hedgehog, so I had what came with being the weird art girl. A Sonic OC. That's basically a fursona, right? I mean, Sonic is a hedgehog, so... Her name was Rosalinda the cat. She was basically just rouge with the tail, but I thought I was so original and had the best OC, but she was trash for real. When I was younger, I also played a game called Feral Heart. Not many people know about it, but that was the game I spent most of my time on. It was basically a role-playing game where you could either be a cat or a wolf. You could customize either to your liking, and then you'd just sit around and chat or role-play. I always joined warrior cat clans and RP'd on them. I actually made a few friends I still know to this day, funny enough. It wasn't a good game by any means, the servers were constantly being shut down, and according to the lore, the actual dev of the game dumped it on the mods and ditched because he just didn't like the game anymore. So it wasn't run all that great either, but I still loved it and loved playing those stupid warrior cat clans with a bunch of other 14 year old girls. I swear to god, the entire game was made up of just girls. Lots of girls would roleplay as guys, but they were all girls in real life. I'd even make male characters sometimes because in that game, if you were a dude, you'd get a lot more attention from the girls trying to be cool and get a warrior cat boyfriend, even if you were a chick in real life. The game was monitored closely by the mods, so there was none of that weird kink shit. There was always a little, but the mods usually cracked down on it pretty hard. Overall, it was a pretty peaceful game for a weird furry cat girls who didn't have friends in real life. You know, it's still up and running to this day, and honestly, I'm, I might make a video revisiting it because it was a big part of my childhood. Funny enough, playing that game forced me to learn how to spell and type better. People who know me know that I type like shit and can barely spell anything, but I used to be about a hundred times worse. The role plays on the game would be literate role plays, which meant you had to have a certain air of sophistication, I guess is the word. And you had to be able to type and spell well. Something like this. The Tom stalked through the brickly underbrush, his grey coat sticking to the dewy morning leaves. It was barely dawn, but he could already smell the prey stirring below him in their dens, his pads barely making a noise as he walked through the underbrush of the dense forest he called home, waiting to find his prey. I don't know what that accent was, but we're gonna roll with it. <laughs> It was basically just like that, and honestly, I loved it. I know it's cringy to some people, but I was like 13, 14 when I was doing this stuff, and it was the highlight of my day to go online and roleplay with my friends and clans and make up stories for our characters. Maybe that's why I enjoy designing OCs and characters so much to this day, so thanks, Feral Heart, even if you made me a furry. Funny enough, furries are the reason I actually got into drawing. Like I mentioned before, my Sonic OC was a big draw to the art world. I wanted to draw her with her man, Shadow. Of course I shipped myself with Shadow, I was weird, okay? So drawing her was the first time I really got into drawing. I mentioned this in a previous video, but I had a friend way back in elementary school who drew really cartoony dogs, and I'd love to copy her. I got into art by learning how to draw my shitty Sonic OC and dogs. I guess I really was a furry. But I was a kid, so I don't see anything wrong with it. Like, children always have fascinations with something, be it Star Wars, anime, animals, or what. It's always something. For me, it just happened to be that I liked dogs. I never really drew those anapomorphic things, unless you count Sonic drawings until I was like 15. I usually stuck to drawing my warrior cat OCs from Frail Heart or just drawing wolves. I actually have a video made on this exact channel way back of all my cringy warrior art. I thought it was so good. It wasn't.
God damn it. Who let me draw and why? And another thing, furries are so integrated into cartoons and movies, you literally cannot escape them. They are everywhere. Disney is run by a bunch of furries. We know that. Zootopia? Yeah. That was a massive furry tribute movie. Pretty much any movie they make has at least one talking, walking animal. Therefore, furries. It's almost impossible to not see this stuff as a kid who already likes animals and be like, oh shit, I can draw that too. Nice. Dang. In my opinion, furries aren't that bad. Like, okay, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying what furries do is in any ways normal or not weird because it's pretty weird. With all things considered, a lot of groups on the internet are a lot worse. For example, Tumblr, before you come at me, Tumblr, we all know that website is filled with toxicity and hate and a lot of people who have very skewed views of the world. <laughs> so all things considered, if you draw dogs, I don't think you deserve to die. That's what I'm saying. Now, if you draw porn of dogs, that's a, no, no, that's a whole different thing. That's not okay. You don't do that. That's weird. Stop, stop. They get a lot of shit for being weird fetishists, which is sometimes true, but a lot of the time they're just weird ass kids who like dogs and want to dress up like them. I mean, shit, I used to chase after my dog in a dog costume when I was 11, so I wasn't much better now, was I? Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one. Don't forget to sub, hit that notification bell, like, subscribe, leave a comment. I don't know. What fucking, what, do what you want. <laughs> Bye, my merch. Okay, thanks. Bye. Oh, also, um, I'm going to VidCon. Um, it's next week. So if you're there, come say hi, I guess. Uh, I'll tweet out where I am and what I'm wearing so you can find me. Um, make sure you follow me on Twitter. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs>